Oh boy, he mixed it up. No, God! No, God, please, no! 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 Hey everyone, this is Geek Cosmos with a guide on beating Cuphead's King Dice the easy way. For this strat, we're going to be using the Charge equipped on shot A, the Chaser on shot B, the Smoke Bomb Charm, and the Energy Beam Super. As for the casino bosses, you have to beat a minimum of three to get to the final phase, and you need to choose the three that you are most comfortable with, regardless of where the HP power-ups land. In my experience, Chips Bedigan, Fear Lap, and Mangosteen pose the lowest risk and require the least amount of focus. These are the 2nd, 6th, and 8th bosses, counting from the left. A few tips for Chips Bedigan. At the beginning of the fight and every time the boss switches sides, you should have enough time to hit his blue head with two maximum damage charge shots. Switch to the chaser while dodging chips, and don't risk jumping over them if you have smoke bomb equipped. Simply dash to avoid the chips completely. Moving on to Fear Lap. Watch out for the blue riders that appear at the bottom of the screen in this fight. Keep one finger on the dash button whenever you see one. Use your super meter as soon as it is full, in fact, use a couple more cards after that to get the fight over with if needed. You should easily be able to refill the super meter before the final battle with King Dice. If you can manage, try to move close to the boss and wail away at him with the high damage alternative weapon whenever the gift box flies past the middle of the screen. And finally, keep shooting the boss even after the fight is over to rack up some extra super meter. Our third and final casino boss of choice is Mangosteen. This floating 8 ball is probably the easiest of the 9 casino bosses, but just in case you have a bit of trouble with him, here are a few things to keep in mind. Stay close to the middle of the screen, do not move to the edges. No need to use your super on this boss, simply use charge to deal massive damage whenever you aren't dodging. Now that you've chosen the 3 casino bosses that you'll be fighting, you need to make sure that you can land the right dice throws to get to them. The technique that worked best for me was to stand directly below the dice, jump when the dice is at the number before the one that I want to hit, and parry right as the number rolls around. For example, if you want to move 3 places and the dice is rolling from 1 to 2 and then to 3, jump when it rolls to 2, and parry right as 3 rolls around. When all of that is done, you finally get to face the main man himself, the devil's right hand man, king dice, and his pesky marching cards. Now, if you're comfortable with the parry mechanic, the quickest way to beat King Dice is to parry the pink cards, as it fills up your super meter. If you'd rather avoid the cards altogether, here's what you need to do. As soon as the battle starts, dash to one edge of the screen. If you're lucky, you'll find yourself behind King Dice's arm and out of harm's way. If not, try your best to parry your way through the cards. If you get hit trying to parry, simply dash behind Dice's arm. If you were able to get behind his arm right at the beginning, use this opportunity to hit his head with an energy beam. Once that's done, charge a shot and wait for him to lift his arm out of the way. Then jump towards his head and let go of the shot before dashing to the opposite edge of the screen and behind Dice's arm once again. Note that you do have time to hit him with two fully charged shots before he starts spawning cards again, but barely. If you miss the first one, simply dash to the other edge of the screen instead of risking another shot. Simply repeat this process until the boss is down, hitting him with a super whenever you rack up a card. Do not squander the short attack windows that you do get though, as the boss can, at times, spawn cards from the same edge of the screen twice in a row, which is why you should ideally have at least 3 health points saved for this phase. And that's all there is to it. I've added a link to my written guide in the video's description. If you liked the video, please do leave a like. If you didn't, hit the dislike button, it helps the channel. And of course, do not forget to subscribe. If you'd like to see more videos of this kind, do let me know in the comment section below. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next video.